just went to check out the new Jordan Peele film, Us. I was super excited about it when I first saw the trailer. Of course, hearing the I Got Five on it in there, seeing Winston Duke and Baku's fine ass. I'm like, woo, child, this is about to be good. But y'all, it's not. It is just not. So this is my official review. There will be some spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet, pause this. Save it in your watch later and come back. All right, that was your chance to leave. If you're still here, I don't care. All right. It was a miss. Dope concept, like conceptually, it's like, oh, you're going to have a story where there is basically a, like there is a, a doppelganger, like a, a evil twin for every person in the world. And they're going to come to a point where the evil twin and the real person basically have this like battle. And it's really dope. And I can already see everybody trying to write the super deep philosophical pieces, think pieces about, oh, it's your higher and your lower self, all of that. That's cute. And you'll do it for the clicks and the, and the clickbait and the likes. But this movie was not it. First of all, I did not appreciate <laughs> that it just seemed kind of not thorough enough like it was almost like he was almost there but he just didn't get it like brandy said almost just does not count um i wish he would have had maybe a, a higher budget i did read an article that he had about a 20 million dollar budget so maybe if he had a little more money he could have expounded more on what the actual like evil twins they were called tethers because they were supposed to be a government experiment gone wrong of them cloning every person on you know in the world and it went wrong so they kind of just discarded these clones in the empty tunnel systems of America and he kind of gave you that little tidbit of like how many tunnels are in the United States that are unused in the beginning. So initially I'm like, okay, there's gonna be something that ties to that. Well, that's what it was. That's what the tethers, that's where the tethers were living, which is everybody saw the preview of like pretty Lupita and then like Lupita, the crazy Lupita that had the scissors. So the crazy Lupita was the tether and then the pretty Lupita we're used to is the real main character, Adelaide. So all right, boom. So, um, I just didn't like it. Like, he didn't quite hit the mark. I didn't appreciate that there were scenes where this pretty fulfilling, like, this, this, this black family that looked pretty fulfilled had the black father constantly comparing himself to the white family that was featured in it. And what was the point of the white family? What, why did we need to have them there? Why did... Um, Winston Duke, but I'm black, so I'm gonna call him Mbaku because we don't know anybody's name. But I liked him enough to learn his name. But <laughs> Mbaku's character kept comparing his family and his boat and his car to what this white family had, and I didn't really understand the need for that. The little boy, um, his tether was crawling around on all fours, and I think we all know that. For, black, for us as black people who have fought for so long to prove that, you know, our ancestors had to deal with being told that they were inhumane and they were uh, like animals and being treated like animals. So why are we portraying ourselves on all fours and anything? Didn't really understand that or the need for it. Um, as well as it just... Uh, like the entire movie, like I get it. Jordan Peele always wants to be like, I'm going to make you think. Like I'm going to plant these seeds. But the majority of the movie, you're kind of just sitting there confused. And not in a good way. Not in a like, oh, this twist is about to really make it good. Like, no, it's just really pure confusion initially. And then when you finally see what the big twist is, is that, oh, um, Lupita's character 
her evil twin has actually been living her life and the real one was stuck down in the tunnels with the tethers. Even that, which is supposed to be like the big aha moment, it was just like, the, the climax wasn't there. Like, I just didn't feel like, I didn't feel like the guy from The Wire when he was like, that's what I wanted to feel like, but I never got there. <laughs> Um, but the positive things about it that I did like really didn't have much to do with the film or the script or anything. It was the actual characters themselves. That representation of all of these beautiful, darker complexion uh, actors and actresses was very nice for me to see. Me personally, I've always loved Lupita. Lupita looks like my family. Like she looks like my dad's side of the family with her dark skin, her big eyes, like all of that is like amazing for me because growing up, I didn't have anybody on anybody's screen that looked anything like that. So I appreciate that. There were scenes where she was on the beach and she's just sitting there, she's just glistening in this natural, beautiful glow. There was a scene where she like stood up, she was like running to try to find her son. She had some shorts on, like legs was all up. And I'm just like, yes, serve me this melanin glow body. That was really nice. Um, the music was phenomenal. I will say Jordan Peele might be super corny and all of that in real life, but he has a very dope, um, love and appreciation for for music and how he incorporates that in his films is definitely like a staple for him and he did that in this film there were some dope songs there was a couple songs that I'm like oh babe we might need to shazam that like we had both had that moment and while we were watching the movie um in addition to that Winston Duke's character the father it was cool to see like the corny black guy who isn't trying to be white but he's just essentially a corny black guy like that's who he is um and it's funny because i kind of feel like that's what jordan peele is in real life is what he wrote that character to be so um it's nice to see that because we need to see variations of black men like we need to see that we need to see more of that representation too like not all black men it's not all monolithic we're not one thing it's so many different types and seeing Winston Duke's character in that was really dope this the other part that I did really like with uh, Lupita and her tether was seeing Lupita literally like battling herself that was a very dope scene it was filmed in an amazing way one of the things that connected uh, Adelaide, which is Lupita, and the tether, Red, was that they both loved dance. And that was how Adelaide kind of stayed connected to her life above ground, even though she was stuck underground and couldn't live it. So for me personally, I love and respect my art form of dance. I was a dancer in my former life. So <laughs> I really appreciated that, like seeing that ballet being incorporated in there. Um, when they were having their battle, you could see that there were images from very uh, important dance pieces. Like there is a pose that she hits that's um, really powerful and was really like a standout piece in one of Martha Graham's mm -hmm. choreography pieces from way, way back in the day, back when like Modern Dance was first being performed. And that, that stance that she did was so powerful that it ended up essentially being like using like kung fu and karate movies and everything so to see him incorporate that to see the beauty of the choreography that they had in there and just that like respect and love for the art form of dance i was like oh i love it so that was really nice and it was just dope like how he had it all um choreographed to ultimately show you that like lapita kills the um the fake one and then the real one comes back and then it's like oh you never know who you're with even if they're family do you ever really know someone like that da, da, da. like like I said I conceptually it was good but the execution of this was just not it I'm never gonna tell y'all not to go see a movie it's black support it but this just wasn't it. Like I said, I love Get Out. I was a super fan of that and was trying to really, really like support Jordan Peele. This one just was not quite it. Um, 
I do see there was a lot of imagery that I could see where he was going with it. Like you'll see 11-11 a lot, which I'm super into numerology. So I was like, oh, okay, I get it. You know, it's a play off of that 11-11 is um, basically a mirror image of one another. You know, that I'm like, okay, I see it. And the movie is about having your, your doppelganger, your matching twin, those energies. Like, I'm like, okay, I get it. Um, but yeah, this, this just wasn't it. And I think that when we are in spaces where we are able to write, produce, and direct something, we have to be cognizant of the power that we have when we're in that space. And we got to make sure that every time we knock it out, the like we knock it out the park. It's that black tax that haunts us. I know it's like white people make trash movies all the time. They do, but they also have quadruple the amount of opportunities to do it. We as black people don't have that. So I'm going to need Jordan Peele to kind of challenge himself more to build the, the background of his characters to give you more of a feeling in the film and conceptually execute everything in a more thorough way because us just did not do it for us tonight while we watched it <laughs> but definitely let me know what y'all think like comment subscribe so we can talk about it Go and check the movie out. I will say this. I am terrified of Lupita. Her acting was phenomenal to the point that it scares me that she knows how to be both people like that. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared <laughs> of her because she killed it. The acting was phenomenal from her. Um, so if not for nothing, go and check it out just so you can see how beautiful Lupita is and let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in. This is Conscious Kingdom, shopconsciouskingdom.com.